Oh, hey. Uh, I'm just casually reading some uh, Deadpool comics here. Uh, not who you expected, right? Not what you expected. But let's get into it. I know why you're here. You're here for an unboxing of my buddy Headpool here. I don't know. Can you see him in the frame? His eyes might be a little green, you know, so... Green screen might not be working and all, but hey, pretty pro propeller. Shout out to AMC. This is probably one of the best props they've given in years. Maybe the Ghostbusters one, you could say it's better, but, you know, this one's pretty cool. His head actually comes off. Surprise! You can put some snacks in here. Let's move that over. I'm terrible with this camera. <laughs> you could put snacks in here and eat, you know, popcorn, cracker, jack, punch and lunch. But look, I'm not here to do a promo for AMC. I'm not here at all for that. We're here to talk Deadpool and Wolverine. Yes, finally. It is finally here. I feel like I've waited all my life, as a lot of you nerds have, for this. Who is Deadpool? Well, I'm not going to give you the backstory. I mean, you're talking to him, right? I think all of us have a little bit of Deadpool in us. The self-deprecating humor, the feeling of maybe not being the best or of value. And Ryan Reynolds showcases this perfectly. I feel like he put himself into this movie. So I'm not going to give a whole bunch of spoilers. So if you're here for that, this is not going to be the video. The movie hasn't officially been released yet. It's, you know, some people forget if a movie comes out Friday and it's a blockbuster, chances are it might be an early showing. And that was the case here. I was so happy to have made an early showing. And if I didn't, I probably wouldn't have got that overpriced piece of junk over there that I just showed you. That out of the way... Uh, this movie deals with the multiverse, but not in a boring, overdone, we're tired of seeing the multiverse way. It's pretty much a wrap-up of, hey, we had these Fox movies, that whole franchise, you know, uh, well, not franchise, but franchises, and Marvel owns those now. Disney owns those. So how could they salvage what they enjoyed from that, what we enjoyed, and move it over into the Marvel Universe? This was the answer to that. Hugh Jackman put on the Wolverine claws and, you know, did all that one more time. It feels like it's not going to be the last. And I'll get to why later, okay? Because there were lots of rumors that, hey, he was just going to be in it for this movie and then maybe they'll pass the torch. Who knows? I'm not saying that that won't happen, but it feels like this isn't the end for, for that character, okay? That aside... Uh, it starts off with Deadpool being, you know, sought after by the TVA. So the Time Variance Association or Authority or whatever it's called. Basically, you need to watch Loki on Disney+. Plus, Right? Those guys are looking for him because he's done some stuff using Cable's time machine. If you remember Cable, you know, from the last Deadpool movie, at the end of it, Deadpool tried to correct some things and... Uh, that got their attention. So it's not like he still doesn't have that time machine, by the way. But as far as we know, they're after him for that. And Wolverine seems to be the key piece of what they want. And Deadpool seeks out Wolverine for the very fact that if he could find Wolverine, maybe Wolverine could save his universe. Because Wolverine let down his universe... And, well, without giving too much away, Deadpool looks for this particular Wolverine because he fits the description of the kind of guy that can help him with his. So I know I'm leaving some stuff out there and I'm not explaining it super well, but just take my word for it. These two are, are kind of star-crossed because 
Deadpool's universe is just pretty much going to get deleted. You've got this guy named Paradox who, you know, wants to do this for his own reason. Uh, and then Wolverine, you know, let down his universe for reasons I won't share. You'll just have to watch the movie to see why he did that or what happened. And uh, those two meet, and Deadpool gives him the promise that if he helps him with his universe, that he could fix up whatever he did in his. Uh, we're then presented through some flashbacks of, you know, what Deadpool was doing in his universe, him trying to join the Avengers. Lots of little backstory to fill you in on what Deadpool's been doing since the last movie, okay? He's actually become a car salesman after being rejected by joining the Avengers, okay? So lots of cameos, gratuitous cameos, but you're led to uh, Deadpool bringing Wolverine back to Paradox, saying, look, I got him. You said that if, uh, you know, I was able to get him, I could fix things. Because initially Paradox was like, look, I'm going to delete your universe and you can come to the Marvel universe. And Deadpool didn't want to leave his friends behind. So that's why he chose, hey, I'll just go get Wolverine. That wasn't successful. He went and got several Wolverines until he got this Wolverine. There. I'm spoiling the movie now. <laughs> so uh, upon getting that Wolverine, they end up in the void. And that's pretty much the trash heap of, you know, uh, a lot of these discarded universes. And some characters happen to live there. One being the you know, one of the major villains of this movie. And uh, you just pretty much have to see how they're going to interact with this character and other characters. I, I was blown away. I, was, I, I enjoyed that most of the rumors that were circulating in this movie about characters, uh, those were mostly true. There was a couple that weren't, and that's fine. They weren't necessary one way or the other, but most of them were true. And I found myself just pointing at the screen like Leonardo DiCaprio uh, when I saw some of these characters appear. Uh, all in all, I'm going to have to give this movie uh, 8.8 .8 out of 10. I feel like it's a 9, but that's the bias in me as a fan wanting to give it a 9. So that's pretty much 4 Earthworm Gems out of 5. We'll, we'll do that for the video. 4 Earthworm Gems out of 5. Some people ask, well, if... I didn't like the other Deadpools while well, I like this one. <laughs> no, you're not going to like this one. This one was that one on steroids. Because the higher budget, there's more language, the violence was just, it was even more gory than this time. Uh, there wasn't any nudity like I think they showed in one of the other Deadpool movies. But the language was, you know, very up there. And to see Wolverine just... Be Wolverine was refreshing yet horrifying all at the same time. He does wear the outfit in full, you know, at certain points. Uh, Ryan Reynolds felt like he was being Ryan, Ryan Reynolds at some point, you know, if I could say that. So uh, this was a good movie. There is an after credit scene. Stay tuned for that if you care. But I will say that the after credit scene doesn't move. It doesn't tease anything extra, if that makes sense. Uh, if you've seen this movie, let me know your thoughts. What did you think of it? Did you enjoy it? Did it let you down? Or was it worth the hype? I would love to hear from you. But hey, if I don't, uh, I'm doing this for this yellow hat dude, this weirdo. Uh, he wants you to subscribe. Uh, this guy needs subscribers. He's, he's not doing as well as he should be. All these years making these reviews. And he, he's terrible at everything he does on this channel. But... Uh, Show him some love, though, because you show him some love, he can actually get better, you know. Believe in him like you believed in this movie. You know, some people just want to feel like they, they matter. Wink, wink. See you in the next one. Hey, how are you? I'm Captain Sensation. I'm on Twitch and YouTube. Enjoy my creations. Movie reviews, let's plays, they're amazing. Stay tuned for more. I'm Captain Sensation. Sympathy for Pokemon and Atari. Wait, here's more funny Mario Party. Games that are chores and some that are gnarly. Fun with Gen X, Virgin Rose, and Kari. Woo! There we go, y'all. Been waiting to do that for a little bit. But hey, see y'all in the next one.